Welcome to Baldi's most set in education and smashing. That's me. Baldy, yep, the well-known teacher from his game known as Baldy's Basics in Educational Learning. Yep, those of you that don't know who Baldy is, Baldy is the main head teacher of his schoolhouse. Yep, he acts very friendly in the beginning of the game, but the main tactics of the game is to walk around and collect books, mainly by solving problems. You know what I mean? Problems, everyone's favorite subject, math, according to Baldi. However, we have seen later on in the game, a new personality of Baldi. When you get math, any math question wrong, he gets super frustrated. And what does he do to punish those students? He pulls out a ruler and smacks it with his hands. The show flows that he's coming for you, and he's going to smack you with this almighty ruler. Anyways, later on, you're supposed to collect items and try to get to school and try to collect books, and it's pretty simple throughout the game. That's all you think. Anyways, I imagine Baldi to be, well, heavyweight with two jumps. However, he'll be a pretty slow fighter, as he usually is pretty slow in the beginning of the game. You have no additional move options. Now, going to Baldi's jab, the jab can be a rapid spammable jab using his ruler. Kind of working like this. This may seem recognizable because, well, it kind of works like Steve's, um, well, neutral attack or jab. However, just like Steve's, using the side tool would have him to walk while using his jab. You may also jump with this, by the way. Now for his dash attack, we can grab a broom, quickly dashing with it. This may do serious knockback, as the broom is based on gotta get sweeping. Well, this is a, well, a janitor item thing and Baldi's basics. Since it's technically an item, might as well use it. Once again, the steel serious knockback and can definitely push foes off ledges. The side tilt, actually the up tilt, I lied, sight. The up tilt can pull out his well-known tablet, known as the You Can Think Pad. See him. He'll pull it out quickly, pulling it up, and, well, hitting upwards. This may be spammable as well. It's down to can have him pull out safety scissors. Another item, as you can see in Baldi's basics. Kind of working like this. You may just spam the down to have him continuously use the scissors. Also, the scissors do um, flinching damage per hit. Now for Baldi's side smash, we'll have him pull out a giant lock. Then... Swing, swinging it hard to the foe, and this does serious damage. When you mean serious, it's almost um between the damage of Prima and King Dedede, and they are powerful. Also, there is both start lag and end lag just to even this out. So, Baldi's up smash can pull an alarm clock. Then, ports it upwards. This does obviously deal multiple flinching damage if landed right on the alarm clock. And finally, for his down smash, we'll have him bend down and summon two notebooks. As, you kind of need notebooks. I mean, you kind of, you, you need to get them, because your friend 
is in that eating section. Session, apparently. So, so we'd rather get those books. However, Baldi decided to use them as weapons. This move may work a lot, or almost exactly like Pac-Man Stop Smash. The neutral error? Okay, I'm new. Well, a spin with his ruler. Kind of working like that. Since his hands are very articulate. However, maybe, definitely. The side error? Okay, I'm throw. Dirty eraser full of chalk. Yep. Now, a little gimmick to this move, like in Baldi's Basics, once thrown and hits the floor, wall, or any other foe, it will summon a giant um, chalk cloud. This would allow the foe, or even Baldi, to be invisible. Ignoring the foe, or just helping Baldi do a sneak attack. The back air can okay, do a swing back with his ruler. Does do quite a bit of damage. The upper, we haven't used the B soda. A soda that's mainly made with blue corn. Um, whatever. This would have Baldi shake it up, but then it sprays out, summoning a whole bunch of blue water. Like in the game, this does deal great knockback to foes. Kind of working like Mega Man's up, up there. And finally, the downer, Kevin drop a whole bunch of books. Kind of working like Steve's anvils. By the way, these books are projectiles, along with the chalk and the water. They say most of his airs are projectiles, as you think, as you thought, as you know. Going on to Baldi's jab, I mean grab, please don't fire me. Anyways, Baldi will grab one hand and pummels by smacking the foe with the ruler. Just imagine what would Baldi do with all his throws since he finally caught the foe. Well, starting with his side throw, his side throw could have him simply push the foe. The foe would think this spared, but obviously not. As Baldi would snack the bow, causing them to launch it forwards. The back throw can have him do a swing throw, throwing the back. The up throw can have him do an overhead toss. And the down throw, he would finally smack the foe with his ruler. Finally. Oh. Oh, we're not allowed to show that. Um, kids watching. Like Spaldy. Oh. Forget that scene. Baldi would just smack the foe with his ruler acting like it as a strangle. Now for Baldi's neutral special. We can have him use the B soda again. Now I choose this because here's the thing. Like in Baldi's basics, this does have the ability to spray foes back. So, this is a charge attack. This will have Baldi shake up the bottle, and it may be um, hold two. Then, once released, it does deal serious knockback on foes. Kind of working exactly like Squirrel's neutral special. Now, for his size special, we can have him use a grappling hook. Why wouldn't this be the up special? Because I thought something more interesting would be better for a day up special. The grappling hook will allow him to grapple on foes or ledges. Now, once you grapple the foe, the foe will obviously come towards, well, Baldi, and they won't be able to fight for one second, as Baldi will have the advantage to make his move if, if he's quick enough. And you may use this as a horizontal recovery too, kind of work. If you do use this as a recovery, then it kind of just works like Jokers, Min Min's, and Bayless, and maybe just a few other up, sm up specials. Now, however, the up special is he, we can have him use the dangerous item known as the dangerous teleporter. 
This does have a simple teleport, but with a li little twist to it. Now, as dangerous as it sounds, it's known as the dangerous teleporter, because this will teleport you anywhere, at least in bonus game. But this will work exactly how it is in Smash. This will teleport you anywhere. But this is great recovery if you're just about to fall off. Or just about to hit the end zone. It's dangerous though as it just will teleport you anywhere. Just even off the stage. But that's kind of rare. Just anywhere on the stage. Above the stage. Or rarely off the stage. And that's really dangerous. Finally, the down special. Well, what's wrong with the school? Well, this isn't homeschool. You can't just, well, school without your staff. And you can't do that without, can't do it without your staff being Smash. Yep, we could have some of the staff appear. Or it's friends. Starting with his little minion friends people. The first one would be Playtime. Like in the game, it was just stand around. No, not like in the game, it will chase you in the original game. But that wouldn't be fair. Now, Playtime would just stand around. Yep. Until someone goes close enough to her. If the foe does, then the foe has to jump rope three times. Unlike in Baldi's Den, they have to jump rope five times, but that just seems overpowered. Now... After that, the foe would have to jump in the correct time, cl clicking X and Y. They would be stuck there, but however, it she does have 10 HP. So, here's a tip for you. It's best to take her out with um, long-range projectiles. By the way, I almost forgot to say. All of Baldi's minions would um, spawn at least for 12 seconds. They will have a 12 second cooldown after those 12 seconds are done. Now I'm getting on to the second minion. The second minion would be the Arts and Crafters. This would run away from your foe like the shy um, person he is. Until Baldi takes 15% damage. Then he charges at the foe and then teleports them as a, at a random place. Kind of working like Abra's assist trophy. Now for the third minion, I decided we can summon the bully. This is what charge at the foe, pushing them around. And, like in the game, they're obviously steal something. And what would they steal? They were steal projectiles from the foe. And then, later on, if he's still in, he would throw the projectiles back right at you. There's a taste of your own medicine. By the way, here's a tip for arts and crafters, I forgot to say. This guy's weak, so take him out while you can. And for this guy's tip, I would like to say this guy's slow, so stay away from this guy. This guy will disappear eventually. Finally, the last minion would be First Prize. This will charge at the foe and then push them around and hugging them for two seconds. Now, this guy does have 25 HP and it would hug you for, once again, two seconds. Now, here's a tip for this guy. This guy he may not jump, so I saw jump over him. Now, that's the end of the minions. You might say, wait a minute. Where's the principal? I don't see no principal. Where is he? First of all, that's not Baldi's staff. He's the principal. He kind of owns the stool. Second of all, I have got a few requests from the, for the principal. And also, he doesn't really do much as, this, as a minion or assist. As he just puts people in detention. However, there is no detention room in Smash. Also, he would be better as a moveset. And yes, I can think of that. And I will do it soon if people continue requesting it. So, just so you know, just expect the principal to be a fighter sometime sooner or later. Now, got all the specials done. Everything can be a little too simple in life. So... Yep, Baldi does have gimmicks. It's mainly revolving about Baldi's anger issues. Yep. 
Wow, this gift let me down. He's supposed to be angry. Dang it, gifts! I'm not gonna redo this now. Oh well. Anyways, for Baldi's gimmicks, this will revolve about him getting super frustrated. If people don't get stuff right. How, like in Smash, if he takes enough damage, let's say 80%, then, like in the game, you get angrier and angrier. Yep. This will allow the Baldi to go really fast, or at least fast enough, to actually, well, chase foes. You also have a damage. He also has a uh, damage increase. So, remember that now. Speed and damage increase if you're above 80% damage. Now for Baldi's Final Smash. This will be based on the ending of Baldi's Basics. If you collect all seven helpers, they will say, Congratulations! You collected all seven notebooks. Now, Crash is still again! After that, in the end of Baldi's Basics, then the room and the school will completely turn red. And you must escape from Baldi. Out of the school. This would work, how this would work in Smash. This would turn the, all, the complete room as there's a ceiling, if there isn't one, a floor, and, well, walls. The walls will continue collapsing, and Baldi would be invincible, chasing after foes, giving him a full boost of advantage on the foes. There is no escape from Baldi now. The walls and ceilings and floor will get tighter and tighter, making it easy for Baldi. This move will last about eight seconds, so enjoy while you last. Why it lasts. He's a Baldi's alt. His first alt can be his classic appearance, as we see his green shirt and blue pants. Second alt can have him have a red alt, a red shirt, based on playtime. The third can have him have an orange shirt, based on bo the bully. The fourth can have him have a dark blue shirt, based on the principal. The fifth can have a, have a yellow shirt just because. The sixth can, can have, a, have a white shirt. The seventh can be for no reason or maybe just based on the test. A um, new character as we see in Baldi's Basics. Plus. And his final alt, we got him to have a full red alt. Yep, bringing disgrace on his foes and... and Obviously, based on the final ending of Baldi. His first taunt, and all his taunts can be based on his animations. His first taunt can obviously have him do his slapping ruler attack. As, as he looks at the screen, angry, looking like that, and you can hear his ruler being smacked right onto his deformed hands. His second taunt, you can have him, well, wave at the screen, saying... Hi there, hi there. This is based on his wave as you see as you see him do when you enter the school. And finally, his final taunt began to pull out an apple and rapidly retardedly eat it. This is based on when you give him the idol the item known as an apple for Baldi. When he says an apple for me? Thanks. He won't say that. He just pull an apple. And rapidly eat it for like a few seconds. And no, uh, you, you, this is just a taunt. It obviously just won't heal, heal you. Oh well. Now for its victories, its first victory, we have him. Well, points his clipboard, a tasks he has to do around his smash school, or really in Smash. As he says, well, looks like we got all the tasks done. His second victory, then say, Welcome to Bony's Victory Screen, and that's me. Um, if you're on a team, then this screen would. If you're on a team and it's Baldi's victory animations, 
the foe, sadly like Joker and Seth Ross, the foe just won't be there. Or your teammates. And it will just show Baldy. Saying this victory animation. In his final victory, we have him do a dab. Based on the old appearance, as we see him do, if you complete the Baldi's basics. And that's it. That's what if Baldi, from Baldi's Basics and Educational Learning, was in Smash. I hope you enjoyed this remake. As, yeah, I, I did promise the principal sometime soon or later. Why did I say that? I'm spoiling stuff. Oh, well. Anyways, if you like this video and you want to help me out, please subscribe. Want to help the video out? And give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests that I just might do, and sorry for those people that have been waiting for requests for a while now. I apologize. Um, I'm going really slow because I need these to be good now. And forever. So, let's just say you recall yourself lucky if you get your request in. But, if you've been waiting for a long while, just remind me, I guess. I don't mind to be remind. <laughs> get it? I don't mind to be remind. Oh, wait, there is no audience. Do, 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 do. Anyways, um, please put it down in the comments if you have any requests or any of the servers that we have listed on the banner. If you want to keep track of any of our videos, then, well, ring the bell. As it will give you instantly give you notifications anytime we upload a video. And that's it. That's what if Baldi was in Smash. Mar mar.